Welcome to Polymer Products Philippines Incorporated's How-To Series, where you will learn the basics of polyester resin uses and applications. This video is a guide on how to make synthetic marble. Please take time to read these reminders as safety is a priority when using resin and fiberglass. The materials from Polymer Products Inc. that you will need are the following. R1060 Fast Gel Resin Toner P10-6105 or P10-6106 Special Blend Resin Durawax or Axle Mold Wiswax Modeling Clay Imported MEKP Hardener Axle Glow Shine Up Wax Lacquer thinner for cleaning. For tools and equipment, please prepare sandpaper, aluminum frame, glass slab, spatula or pry tool, rags, gloves, brush, plastic cups and stirrer and weighing scale. Wax the glass base with Durawax or Axle Mold Wizwax. Then buff with a rag until glossy. Apply wax on the inside portion of the aluminum frame. Buff as well. Wrap a clay coil around the aluminum frame. This acts as a seal to the glass base and prevents the resin from seeping under the frame. Using a weighing scale, measure the weight of the resin you are using. Then mix 2% MEKP hardener. In general, use this formula when mixing resin and hardener. 1-2% MEKP hardener by resin weight or 1 to 2 grams hardener for every 100 grams of resin weight or 10 to 20 grams hardener for every 1 kilogram of resin. Mix well. Brush a thin layer of the resin hardener mixture on the portion of the glass bordered by the aluminum frame. Allow to gel for about 15 to 30 minutes. To achieve the marble effect, first use separate cups to mix the different colors. In this case, black and white. Mix up to 5% toner to the amount of P10-6105 or P10-6106 Special Blend Resin. Mix until color is uniform. Then thoroughly mix 2% MEKP hardener into each of the colors. Mix thoroughly. Pour each color into a separate mixing cup, then blend. Be careful not to stir the two colors too much, or the marble veins will mix into a solid color. Pour the black and white mixture into the aluminum frame. Carefully shake the glass slab to fill the mold evenly and thoroughly. Allow to gel for about 15 to 30 minutes. Once the resin has hardened, remove the clay seal. Then use a pry tool to gently separate the resin from the glass base. Use sandpaper to remove hard edges. Buff with Axle Glow Compound to maximize the shine. For best synthetic marble results, we recommend that you use Polymer Products Philippines Incorporated materials. For more information about the use and application of resin and fiberglass, 
or to know more about our products, please visit www.polymerprod.com. Thank you for watching. Please view our other how-to videos to learn the correct techniques, proper ratios and proportions, and materials handling. This video was brought to you by Polymer Products Philippines Incorporated.